In this video we will inform you the gen information, how can you reach K2 base camp and climbing tips. Welcome to K2 or the Karakoram 2 the second highest mountain in the world and one of the most challenging peaks to climb. Its height is 8,611 meters. Located in the Karakoram range of Pakistan, K2 has been a goal for mountaineers for decades, but only a select few have successfully reached its summit. You can only climb it successfully if you are not just a professional rock climber but also the ice climber. The mountain, known as the Savage Mountain due to its steep and treacherous terrain, has claimed the lives of many climbers. The first successful ascent of K2 was made by an Italian team in 1954, but it was not until 1977 that an American team finally reached the summit. K2's height, combined with its steep and icy slopes, makes it a formidable challenge for even the most experienced climbers. The mountain's reputation for danger is well earned, with an estimated one in four climbers dying on the mountain. The climb to the summit begins at base camp, located at 16,000 feet above sea level. From there, climbers must navigate through a series of steep and icy glaciers before reaching the mountain's steep and exposed ridges. The final push to the summit requires a climb up a steep, icy slope known as the bottleneck. Despite the danger, climbers continue to be drawn to K2. The mountain's remote location and challenging terrain make it a true test of skill and endurance. Those who reach the summit are forever part of a select group of climbers who have conquered one of the world's most challenging peaks. The mountain has been a great attraction for many adventurous people who want to challenge themselves and push their limits. K2 is a true test of skill, endurance, and determination. It's a mountain that will always be remembered as one of the most challenging and beautiful peaks in the world. You will enjoy your journey to K2 a lot, as the exquisiteness of nature lies in its near points, i.e. Chillas, Junla, Skardu, Payu, Askali, etc. Fly into Skardu, the nearest major airport to K2 is Skardu Airport in Pakistan. From there, you will need to arrange transportation to the town of Skardu, which is the starting point for the trek to base camp. Drive to Askali, from Skardu, you will need to arrange for a jeep or a 4x4 vehicle to take you to the village of Askali. The drive typically takes around 8 to 10 hours and the road is rough and bumpy. 3. Trek to base camp, from Askali, you will begin the trek to base camp. The trek typically takes around 5 to 7 days and covers approximately 100 kilometers, 62 miles of rough terrain. The trail passes through the Braldu River Valley and the Baltoro Glacier and offers spectacular views of the surrounding mountains. It's important to note that this is only a rough guide and the actual journey may vary depending on the tour operator, the weather conditions, and other factors. Also, it's important to note that during the trek you will need to be self-sufficient and to carry all the necessary equipment and supplies, including camping gear, food, and water. 1. Get in shape. K2 is a physically demanding climb that requires a high level of fitness. Before attempting the mountain, you should be in good physical shape and able to hike for long distances with a heavy backpack. 2. Get experience. K2 is not a beginner's mountain. You should have experience climbing other high-altitude peaks and be comfortable with steep, icy terrain before attempting K2. 3. Get the right gear. You will need high-quality, warm clothing, boots, crampons, ice axes, and other gear to climb K2. Make sure you have all the necessary equipment before setting out. 4. Hire a guide. K2 is a remote and dangerous mountain. Hiring a guide with experience on the mountain is highly recommended. 5. Plan your route. There are several routes to the summit of K2, each with its own challenges. Make sure you research and plan the best route for your experience level and weather conditions. 
6. Be prepared for altitude sickness. K2 is located in an altitude of 8, 6, 11 m and the air is thin, which can cause altitude sickness. Be prepared to recognize the symptoms and take action if they occur. 7. Be prepared for the weather. The weather on K2 can change rapidly and be extremely cold and windy. Make sure you are prepared for extreme weather conditions. 8. Respect the mountain. K2 is a dangerous and unforgiving mountain. Always be aware of your surroundings and take appropriate precautions. Remember that climbing is inherently dangerous and always be prepared for the worst case scenario. 9. Be aware of the risks. Climbing K2 is a serious undertaking and the risks should not be underestimated. Make sure you understand the risks and are prepared to accept them before attempting the climb. Overall, climbing K2 requires extensive experience, preparation, and the right mindset. If you're planning to hike on K2, make sure you do your research, plan your route, and take all necessary precautions to ensure a safe and successful climb. And with that, we come to the end of our journey to K2. We hope you've enjoyed learning about this majestic mountain and the climbers who have attempted to conquer it. Thank you for joining us on this adventure.